we will be performing the swimmer hover from the collapsed kneeling position. Now you can do this from any real position that you can, that you can think of. You can go from a standing position all the way down to a prone position. The more joints that you have stacked under you, the easier it's gonna be, right? So if I'm standing and I'm all the way up on my feet and I have all my joints under me, that's gonna be probably your easiest position you can train from. And then as you go into a more advanced position, say a prone position laying on your stomach, now you're fighting gravity everything's trying to pull you down, that's going to make your swimmer hover a lot more challenging. So you can play with different positions depending on the challenge that you are looking for and your abilities, but we're gonna be doing it from a collapsing position that's really gonna allow us to really maximize a lot of the positions that we're trying to train here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set myself up, I'm gonna have my hands behind my head. I'm gonna do one rep facing you, I'm gonna do one rep facing the side, and then I'll do one rep facing the wall so you can really see all the different angles here. So I'm gonna set my hands up behind me. I'm gonna take my elbows back. I'm gonna press them back to the wall. The whole time I wanna think driving back as hard as I can. From there, keep my elbows back. I'm just gonna rotate my hands off of my head. So now I'm trying to take my hands back to the wall. I will go up into a Y position. So I'm making a Y with my arms about 45 degrees out, continuing to drive my hands back to the wall behind me. From there, I will swim my arms down. So I'm trying to internally rotate my arms as I come down, continuing to try to reach those hands as high up as I possibly can. From there, I'll find my end range there and I will just bend my elbows, continue to drive those elbows back nice and slow, bring those hands as high up on my lower back as I can, and then set down. I can reset my tension, get a good full body contraction, elbows reach back, shoulder blades squeeze together. I then rotate my hands off of my back reach my hands back, I'm trying to get my hands as high up as I can, start to swim up all the way back to my wide position. Again, driving back to that wall behind me, bend those elbows, continuing to squeeze back, hands come behind the head, then I can set down. That would be one rep. So I'll go from the side. I'm just in a good, tall brace position. No, no matter if I'm laying on my stomach, standing up, no matter what, I wanna make sure that I keep my ribs down, keep a good full body tension here. So I'll have my hands behind me, elbows drive back, hands rotate behind me. As I continue to drive my elbows back, press up to my Y position, drive my hands back, start to swim my hands down. Now I'm internally rotating those shoulders, trying to keep those palms as high as I can as I find my shoulder extension. From there, I will bend my elbows, bring them together as high up on my back as I can, set down, I can reset, full body contraction, elbows press back, shoulder blades squeeze back, hands rotate off the back, reach, swim my hands up, turn them over, now I'm in my wide position again, come back behind me, hands are still off my head, elbows are still driving back, then I set down. Let's do one more time, I'll be facing the wall so you can get the posterior view here. From there, I will just think hands behind my head, elbows squeeze back, hands off, rotate up to my wide position, swim those hands down slowly, find my end range of shoulder extension, palms are up, Keep pressing my elbows back as I try to find my hands together as high up on my low back as I can. Reset, reset your tension. Elbows squeeze back, shoulder blades squeeze together. Hands rotate off. Reach with palms up. Come over the top, turn those hands over. Now we're in our wide position. Press those elbows back, hands come together. And then I set back down on my head. So that is a shoulder, or swimmer, I should say, swimmer hover from the collapsed kneeling position. Again, you can do it from standing all the way down to prone, even in a collapsed quadruped position. So there's a lot of positions that you can perform the exercise from. Try it out in different positions and just work on continuing to press back the whole time. Go slow and controlled. So those are the swimmer hover.